Hey everyone, welcome back. Today in this video, I'm gonna review the Thinkscan 689BT by Thinkcar. The reason that I'm making this video today is because on other videos that I have on the channel for reviewing the devices, many of you ask me about the updates because you know that for many scan tools, you need to pay an annual subscription for the update, which can be considerable, sometimes $400 on some scanners, even more than thousand dollars so that's actually the reason i'm making the review on this device because the update on this device is free lifetime so after buying the device you don't need to pay for the updates ever all right so that's very cool because many scanners they provide one or two years at most for the free update and after that you have to pay otherwise you cannot update your scanner with the new software but on this one you will have lifetime update which is pretty cool and the other important point that you need to consider before buying any scanner is the coverage what sort of software you have on that scanner if a scanner is performing only the basic options or you have some other functions like live data actuation test and the special functions that you need for diagnostic purposes so in this video i'm going to show you first of all what is inside the pack then i'm going to connect it on this card to try several different systems to make sure if this scanner is covering those systems or not and we will see how many systems or special functions this scanner will cover before starting the video if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet please don't forget to subscribe and if you're interested to learn more about the diagnostic you can find our online courses on udemy.com link for those online courses are in this video description so the first thing that you see after unpacking is this nice casing which is really easy to keep your scan tool inside this is the scanner itself and i have the casing on each end to protect the device when you're working on a car we have this stand at the back which is going to be helpful to put the device anywhere around the car when you are working on it and at the back you see the dongle as well which is located right here by magnet so this is very interesting as well all right but the magnet is going to stay on the scanner and there is no way that you lose this dongle you have some other things inside the case as well one adapter over here and a usb cable and charger of course with different adapters for different countries so for the update if i go for the update i have several options for vehicle diagnostic software for maintenance software and for application software if i go for the application software for each one of them you can update so this one is updated already if i go for the vehicle diagnostic software I have all these cars to update. Many of them are on the latest version, but I have some new software to update as well. So if you click on here on the operate, as you see, a scan tool starts updating the software, downloading and then installation. So diagnostic software is already updated. If we go back, we have maintenance software as well. So, and as you see, all these are on the latest version. So I don't need to update right now, but I'm not worried about that. If there is any update, I don't need to pay for that. Let's try this scanner right now to see how it's gonna get connected to the car, how many system it covers, and how we can use it for diagnostic purposes. Of course, I am right now on the auto search. If I click on this one, just wait for the scanner to be connected. It's just trying to identify the car. As you see, it found the car. This car is a Kia. Win number is detected, which is going to make my life easier. Of course, it's 16 pins. Auto select. It's just asking me for the region. It's not the United States. It's not Canada. I'm going to go for general area. 
and of course all the information for the car is detected too so right now here you have the health report system select a special function and read password so if you go for the health report you're going to read the fault code for all systems every single system on this car select system is going to let you select the systems individually for example if you are diagnosing the engine or transmission or abs whatever you can select the systems individually from here it's going to give you more features and the special functions are basically what you had access from the very first page you can find them over here as well if i click on the special functions i have a list of special functions for this exact car of course at the very first page you had a lot more special functions but not all of them are applicable to this specific car that's why you have a list of special functions for this car i'm going to try a couple of them later on let's go for the health report as you see a scanner is scanning all the systems on this car whatever you see as red color it means you have a code for example one code on ecm one code for the transmission abs is giving me two fault codes srs or airbag is giving me three fault codes and just wait for this one to be done all good so these are the list of codes that we got you can get a report from here if you click on the report you can just insert all the information from here and press ok and you're going to get a report but for erasing the codes you can just click on clear dtcs of course for the codes the scan tool is going to erase those codes which are not active anymore so if there is any code with an active fault you need to fix the fault first then you can erase the code for example for the abs as you see i have one fault code that should be inspected but for the ecm and tcm codes are already gone so these are some codes as you see present present this ones must be inspected so let's go back we're going to have a look at the system select to see how we can diagnose the systems by system selection for example engine Again, you have some options over here for reading the codes, erasing the codes, for the live data, actuation test, and special functions. Of course, these two are for the codes that we just saw for reading the data. See how this scan tool is going to cover the live data for us. So you have all this live data for this car. I'm going to select a couple of them to see what we can get. I selected two live data over here for accelerator pedal sensor one, accelerator pedal sensor two, because inside the gas pedal, I have two sensors. If I select these two, I have the live data for these two. These are the value. For example, if I press the gas pedal right now, you see the values are changing based on pressing the gas pedal. So this is the live data for diagnosing the sensors. I can use the graph mode as well. So sensor one, sensor two, look. So this is how graph mode of this scanner is going to help me to do the diagnostic as well. By changing the live data graph mode is showing me the change as well, which is pretty cool. Of course, there are many other live data, but I'm not going to make this video very long. Actuation test is for activating some actuators. For example, if I try some of them, for the fan, I just try to activate the fan, cooling fan, low speed, ignition on, engine off, and if I start it, I can hear the cooling fan is operating. And of course, for many other components, you can activate them from here as well. All the list of actuation tests. A special functions can be accessible from here or from the very first page that you saw earlier. Now let's try some special function using this device. So let's go for the maintenance. And of course, as you see, you have a list of different maintenance options over here. So you need to select the one that you are after. For example, on this car, if we go for A steering angle sensor calibration as you see right here 
because you need to perform the steering angle sensor calibration if you have replaced the sensor or sometimes even after performing the wheel alignment. But you got to be careful that sometimes this steering angle sensor is inside the electric power steering. If your car has electric power steering system, sometimes this sensor is inside that assembly. If you don't, it's normally a separate component behind the steering wheel. So right now, let's go for selecting the car. Kia, switch is on. It's a Kia Rio, this one. All the VIN number, everything is detected. As you see, a scan tool is showing me the option in motor driven power steering, which is electric power steering, by the way. So, and the reason is because this car has electric power steering. So for performing the steering angle sensor calibration, we need to do it from here. If your car has hydraulic power steering and this sensor is a separate sensor behind the steering wheel, you need to perform the calibration from the ABS system. So let's go for this one. Of course, a special function, a steering angle sensor calibration. So you have all the conditions over here. This function is used for initializing ASP calibration. Perform this function when you replace the EPS ECU or if you've done any work related to the EPS. So ignition must be on. In this case, engine must be on as well. I'm gonna start the engine. So engine is running right now. We need to make sure that the front wheels and the steering wheel are straight and then we need to press OK. Test complete, turn ignition key off and then press OK. Ignition key back on. All good. And this was the calibration of a steering angle sensor using this scanner. I'm going to try another special function on this car because today I'm just trying to test some important special functions that you might need. For example, in this case, if I go for here, for this option, this is for registering a new remote. For example, if you want to add a new remote to the central door locking system, you need to register it with a scan tool. As you see over here, a scan tool is asking me to remove the ignition key from the cylinder. So I'm just trying to register this remote on this car. Uh, for doing this, I already removed the key from the ignition cylinder. Press OK, wait for two seconds and press lock on the transmitter for more than one second. Press OK button when you are ready. So I'm ready. I'm going to press this one. Wait for two seconds. The first transmitter code is saved. Press OK button if you want to save the second one. Press cancel if you don't want to add anyone. I'm going to cancel. I don't want anything else. And if I try it right now. All right. It's working right now. Another important special functions that you might need is electric parking brakes. If your car has electric parking brake and you want to change the brake pads on the rear wheels, you need to release the parking brake with the scanner. So I'm going to try this function on a Mitsubishi because this car that I'm taking the video right now, this Kia doesn't have electric parking brake. I'm going to try it on a Mitsubishi very shortly. Let's have a look at that option too. EPB, electric parking brake. If we go for a special function, we have these two options for changing the brake pad. For example, full release control for brake pad replacement, brake pad replacement manual setting. If I click on that, all right, so on and off. So I can hear the EPB is functioning right now. All right, and now it has stopped. This is actually how you release the electric parking brake before changing the rear brake pads. So basically what we need when we want to buy a scanner, we need to make sure that the device itself is good for the workshop environment or even for the DIY, this scanner is quite good. The other one is the coverage that we already tried many systems right now. So this scanner is covering all the systems and all the functions for those systems. A special functions for the maintenance is quite important as well. And the most important one is the update that I told you this scanner is giving you the lifetime update. That's actually a big advantage for a scanner. 
thank you very much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video was helpful for you if you were thinking to get this scanner please don't forget to have a look at the channel we have so many other diagnostic videos on the channel and please don't forget to subscribe for more diagnostic videos